Shalom and welcome to Shalom Adventure Hebrew class. Noah, Abraham and the Israelites were abundantly blessed by Elohim. It was possible because of God's covenant with them. The word covenant in Hebrew will be... Today we will learn how to read this word and how to translate it. Our word has four letters and two diacritic marks. Our letters are Bet, Reish, Yod and Tav. This is bet. It sounds b, like a b in body. Under the bet, you can see two small dots. This is shiva. The shiva might be vocal or silent. A vocal shiva sounds like a brief e. Eh. A silent shiva indicates a brief stop. The shiva in our word is vocal. This is resh. It may be pronounced like an r in rich, or if you want to do it more authentically, you may pronounce it like a Spanish R in Arco or a French R in Paris. The diacritic mark under Reich and the following letter should be read together. This dot is called Hirik. It should be read E like an I in feet. This is Yod. It sounds like a Y in Yes. A combination of letters, a Hirik followed by a Yod, is called Hirak Yod and should be read E like an I in feet. The last letter in our word is Tav. It sounds T like a T in tall. Hebrew should be read from right to left. When we read Hebrew words, we should pronounce a consonant first and then a vowel under this consonant, like this. Now, when we know all required letters, we can read our word. Berit. Berit. Berit is a noun, and it means covenant, treaty, or alliance. Let us open the Hebrew Bible or Tanakh. Why do we call it Tanakh? This is an abbreviation. Tanakh stands for Torah or Pentateuch, Nevi'im or Prophets, and Ktuvim or Writings. As a result of the covenant with God, Noah survived the flood and saved his life and lives of members of his family. But I will establish my berit with you, and you will enter the ark, you and your sons and your wife and your sons' wives with you. As we can see, Noah had the opportunity to build and to enter the ark as a result of God's covenant with him. After the flood, when the water decreased and Noah and his family went out of the ark and offered sacrifices, God proclaimed, I establish my berit with you. Never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of a flood, and never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. Studying the story of Noah, we can see that God's berit is a synonym of life. Another famous person with whom God established his covenant was Abraham. The book of Genesis or Bereshit tells us that on that day Adonai made a berit with Abraham, saying, To your seed I have given this land, from the river of Egypt to the great river, the river Ephrates. Elohim also promised, I will establish my berit between me and you, and multiply you exceedingly. Important benefits of this covenant were the land and the descendants multiplied by God. Later, talking with Moses, God said something very important about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I have also established my berit with them to give them the land of Canaan, the land in which they lived and sojourned. This promise was fulfilled when God made his covenant with all the Israelites when Moses took the blood of the berit and read aloud to the people, and they said, All that Adonai has spoken we will do, and be obedient. In addition to giving the land to the Israelites and multiplying the people, God promised to dwell with them. He taught Moses how to build the tabernacle, which accommodated the ark and provided God's presence among the children of Israel. And behold, Zadok also, and all the Levites with him, were carrying the ark of the Berit of God. 
as we can see the Ark was called the Ark of the Covenant. It would remind people that God dwelt with them because of His covenant with them. Elohim gave one of the greatest promises to the prophet Jeremiah. Behold, the days are coming, says Adonai, when I will make a new berit with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. This is the berit which I will make with the people of Israel after that time, declares Adonai. I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. This promise is fulfilled every time when someone allows Yeshua to take out the heart of stone and to replace it with the new heart. He is the one who established the new covenant, Berit Hadasha. To be in Berit with him means to have him write his laws into our hearts. Thanks to his Berit, Everyone can be obedient to Him by His power. To be in Berit with Him means to live. Thanks to His Berit, everyone can have eternal life. To be in Berit with Elohim means to live in His presence. Thanks to His Berit, everyone can enjoy God's presence in eternity. One of Yeshua's names is Emmanuel. This name means God with us. And this blessing exceeds all the blessings of the earthly temple. If you want to learn more about Yeshua, find special Torah study lessons at shalomadventure.com. Thank you for joining us. Shalom.